Hey guys, I'm still here in Brazzaville, Congo, and lo and behold, I was downtown walking through a construction zone where they were selling a lot of construction supplies, and I walked in and one of the stores had this awesome lock. Uh, this is a Spanish IFAM, and the model, as you can see, is Uno 80, and I think that has something to do with the measurements, but it doesn't quite measure up. Uh, when you check the measurements, you notice this is really about 85 millimeters and about uh, it's about 70 millimeters tall so uh, they give you more than they than they advertise which is kind of unusual especially uh, here in Africa get more than your money's worth anyway it is as you see a shutter lock and it's all stainless steel beautifully constructed and, and just incredibly heavy um, a unique thing about this lock is that they give you these stainless steel spacers so if you're locking up something like a, a storefront or a motorcycle you can um, adjust the number of spacers so that only your chain uses up the part of the shackle so that it makes it much more difficult for someone to come in there and try to cut this lock to uh, to get away with it anyway as I said solid solid construction there's no way to remove the cores on these things and speaking of the core uh, you'll notice that there's a spinner. It actually protects the core, uh, and that's a, a counter drill, of course. And uh, so when you start drilling, of course, this thing will spin around. It's hardened stainless steel. It's going to be really hard to try to drill uh, into this core to drill your way in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see inside of there, but it is a dimple lock, and it is a seven-pin dimple lock. And this also is a little bit uh, unusual. If you take a close look at the uh, at the key get a backing here for you. You really only can see five drilled dimples, but there are actually seven. And just if you look very closely, you can see that this one is cut to the maximum depth, number two, and also number seven is cut to the maximum depth. So if you just judge from the key, you might think you're only dealing with five pins instead of seven. But as soon as you start picking it, uh, you figure that out pretty quick. Uh, as I said, brand new. If I can get the spinner lined up, I'll show you it does work. It is key retaining, so once you turn the key, and now these discs, of course, are going to fall off when I pull the shackle out, and there you go. Works perfectly, key retaining, and now there you go, perfectly secure. All right, let me move this junk out of the way, and let's see if we can pick this thing real quick. Um, this will not be the first time I've picked it. Uh, because it's quite difficult to get access. As you can imagine with this spinner we have about a quarter inch extra depth to work with so it's kind of hard to keep your tension wrench in there so if you try to pick one of these you just get an extra long tension wrench and it also means we're going to be working at the maximum depth of the picks which also in itself is a little bit awkward. So let's just uh, so I'll try to get a good angle here and let's see if we can get this thing picked without dropping everything. Okay, I'm just going to start looking for the binding pin. Okay, feels like number four. Feels like I got him set. Five. And seven. Set. And then I'm going to come out to the front and start from the front and try it again. And... I realize the light is not perfect, but uh, the power is out here at the hotel and they're running the generators 24 hours basically. Okay, I'm going to try a reset. I must have overset something. Again, we'll try the large flag this time. Okay, I got pin four. This set. Pin one is still springy. Uh, pin two feels like I got a slight fault set. Okay, pin six is set. And pin seven is set. If I can get my pick out of there, sometimes it gets stuck in these dimple locks. There we go. And I'll start from the front again. And 
It feels like pin 3 is stuck in the bottom, so I'm not going to mess with him too much. And it feels like pin 7 has now dropped again, so we'll pop him back up. And come back out and try, try it fresh. Feels like everybody's in their seat. There we go. We got a nice deep fault set. You probably saw the spinner turn around. And by the way, all these are security pins. All seven are security pins. And now this is easy to show you. If you look at the tension wrench, you'll notice I'm getting a. Let me turn it so you get a good view. As I'm trying to pick pin number two, you'll notice that we got the feedback, which indicates it is a security pin, just like all the rest. But pin 2 is very high, so even with a flat flag, I can't get him all the way home. So what I'm going to do is, rather than use this, I'm going to go to a standard pick, and I'm just going to put him in sideways and try to rotate that pin into place and see if we can get him picked. I can get under him at this angle. It's a little bit awkward with this spinner on here. And there we go, picked. So we got an open on a Spanish IFAM Uno 80. Anyway, fellas, it's not as hard as you might think. Just uh, pay attention to that feedback, and remember they're all security pins, and you'll be picking these things before you know it. Anyway, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe and stay legal.